Let's look at truss uplift for a minute, because it confuses a lot of people. Insulation in the attic means the bottom cord of a truss is warmer and moister than the rest of the truss. In winter, that causes the bottom cord to swell and the top cords to shrink. And because the bottom ends of the truss are nailed in place, it can only swell upward. When drywall is fastened to the walls and ceiling, the seasonal movement leads to cracks. One way to avoid these seasonal cracks is to float the corners, keeping fasteners a foot and a half away from the end of the sheet. A stronger way is to use a vinyl truss backing angle, which allows the wood movement and holds the angle together tighter than paper tape and joint compound. The ceiling drywall is fastened into the backing angle at the edge and into the truss about 18 inches back from the edge, where movement is less pronounced. Now, when the truss bows upward in winter, the truss up lifts, but the drywall stays put. And to quote the great Dr. Joe Stebrick, truss uplift isn't a problem if the client doesn't see it.